Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Cindy here from CLB Craft Creations with another card project for you in our 2016 holiday card series. This card is going to feature the Stitched with Cheer set. Um, this actually coordinates with one of the project kits in the holiday catalog, which is actually really fun. And I actually have it right here. It, uh, it coordinates with this, this set. And everything else comes in this set except for ink, um, but the ink and the stamps, and this is the set that coordinates with that. We are not making a card from this project kit, but I wanted to show that to you because I think the cards in this set are actually really, really cute. Um, but I'm doing something a little different, and we're going to actually be doing a gatefold card for this card. And I wanted to use the new Stitched Shapes Framelits, which, guys, let me tell you, I am in love with these framelits. Um, you have the circles, the ovals, and the squares. And I know, I'm sure you've probably seen these all over the place. Uh, I know several other stamp companies actually make something similar to this, but this is the first set that Stampin' Up! has ever actually produced with the stitched, um, the stitched dies. So we're actually going to be using the circles on our card today, and it's the second and third. So there's four of each shape, um, and I will give you real quick a measurement, or not. Sorry, looking for my ruler. Just decided to do that on the, on the fly here. So the largest circle shape, and I'm measuring from the cut edge, it is almost three inches. So that circle is about three inches and then they go down in size from there. And then the smallest is just shy of an inch and a half. Um, and again, it makes a stitched border as well as cuts out the shape. And then I could give you the dimensions here on the ovals. So the largest oval is just a little bit more than two and a quarter uh, in in uh, up and down or width and then the other the length is just uh, it's about three and a quarter and then the smallest is about one and three quarters and then it is about three quarters inches tall and then the squares are going to be two and well, oh, let's see, that's four, five-eighths, two and five-eighths square for the largest. And then the smallest is one, two, three, uh, one and three-sixteenths uh, square. So there's just a quick quick run from the tallest to the smallest on those stitch dies. I'm actually not using that one. Our card base is a piece of very vanilla. Let me actually zoom out just a little bit. Um, so we have a piece of very vanilla which is cut at eight and a half by five and a half and I have it scored at two and an eighth, two and one eighth on each side. So I just scored it on one side at two and an eighth, flip it around and scored it again. And that makes our, our gatefold card. I want to do something a little different. You've been using the traditional uh, folds lately. We're going to be using um, two strips of the This Christmas Designer Series paper. I love this paper and what Stampin' Up! is doing lately with the paper and the fact that they're giving you a themed pattern, if you will, on one side and then a very neutral theme on the other side so that you could potentially use this really all year long by hiding that Christmas side because this is just basically cherry cobbler paper with stripes in it. So we'll be using two of those. These are measured at or cut at um, this is one and seven eighths by uh, five and a quarter. So there's two of those. And then I have just a piece of very vanilla for stamping and then die cutting and a piece of cherry cobbler to stamp as well. No, I'm sorry, not to stamp, to cut. All right, so we can actually, oh, and one other piece. It's a piece of the garden green and this is cut at one inch by 10 inches and we're gonna make a belly band out of that. So we can go ahead and add our strips here. Use some snail on that. And this these measurements will just give you 
an eighth inch border all around. So just your standard layer. I was going to do an eighth of an uh, an eighth, which would have been a sixteenth all the way around, but I wanted more of the ivory to show. Okay, and we're pretty much done for this with this for right this minute. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment, which I'm going to use the Peace and Happiness. I've already got that on a block, and I'm going to be using Garden Green. Just ink that up. Just make sure that you leave enough room on whichever piece that you stamp to get the circle framelit around it. Let's give that a second to transfer. Okay, close up my ink. This is actually a really fun and easy card that you can mass produce. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the big shot. We might have to zoom you out again. Okay. So yeah, this card is definitely pretty easy to mass produce. Now I'm going to take my piece that I need to punch out there and I'm also going to take my cherry cobbler piece and I'm going to take my next size up in that and we'll go ahead and cut those both at the same time. Now we have that piece done. Goes out of the way. And look how beautiful these little stitched marks are. You can see this one in the cherry cobbler. I just, it's, they're beautiful. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and pop these up. I'm going to pop actually both layers up. You could just layer layer the one, the very vanilla piece on to the cherry cobbler with just regular snail, but I wanted the, the height. I just like the, um, the height from that. Okay. And then I will actually do two, but I probably should have waited and done that after I put my belly band on because we want to make sure that that will go around. Now, the way I like to do my belly bands so that I make sure that I get them where I want rather than score them before I put them on there because even though you you may score things exactly the same, for some reason it just never seems to line up for me and I like a nice crisp edge so I want it to line up nicely. Now, the key with this too is that you don't want to make it too tight because if it's too tight then you won't be able to slide it. So I'm just going to fold this over and then I'm going to just give it a little press and then I'm going to bring the other piece over and I'm going to line it up top to bottom so that my um, strip is even and then I'm just going to push down at that edge and you can take this off and then reinforce it with some uh, with a bone folder but this is this is good for me and I'm just going to add some snail that seems to hold pretty well and then I'm just going to bring that back over line those up again top to bottom so that they're flush and so see now it just slides really really nice all right and now we're just going to finish this up by putting our dimensionals or our sentiment piece on the back and hopefully i didn't mess this up so i can't get that on there you just want to center that on your belly band and voila there you there you have it there is our day seven card for the 2016 holiday card series. And uh, this week you will be seeing um, at least three more videos this week so that I can try and get caught up on all, uh, all of the videos. And then hopefully we can wrap them up next week. So there you have it. I hope that you liked today's card project and you'll give it a try. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. Leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.